superintendent of the South Washington schools is apologizing after the personal information of thousands of students was emailed out to parents. On behalf of the district, I want to again apologize to our parents and our students. The district fully acknowledges the error that was made and will diligently work to address our parent concerns. Yep, they talked about it at last night's school board meeting in Cottage Grove. On Wednesday night, the district sent an email to parents that was supposed to contain uh, bus route information just for their own kid. Instead, they left an attachment on there that contained a document with information about more than 9,600 students. It includes names, addresses, student ID numbers, and parent contact information. There needs to be, whether it's added security, um, law enforcement, whether it's parents standing watch, something like this should never ever happen. There needs to be policies in place that are enforced. Yeah, the superintendent says that link with personal information, the link's been deactivated. They can no longer access that document. The bus routes, they might rename some of them, they might change some of them. They're also talking about changing student ID numbers. We're hearing from two restaurant employees who lost their jobs after a photo surfaced of them dressed in Nazi uniforms. Are you a Nazi? No. No. Are you a member of KKK? No. No. The 18 year old woman and 19 year old man both wish to remain anonymous after receiving death threats. They say the photo was taken at a private gathering, which was a meeting of more reenactors. She said she's been doing reenactments since she was seven years old. They say they did not mean to cause problems for the Uptown Diner in Minneapolis or for the friends who have come out to support them. We wear quote unquote Nazi uniforms, so we, we portray a combat infantry unit so they kind of mix that up and they're like you guys aren't real white power well we might as well come and kill you then if you're flaunting it the uptown diner fired the pair after seeing the picture online earlier this week the former workers say they do not know the person who posted the photo that circulated on facebook just when you thought road construction season might wind down a major project gets started on monday MnDOT is going to rebuild 35W from downtown Minneapolis to the Crosstown. It's a project that will be going on over the next four years. Transportation leaders call this project complicated, saying it will be tough on drivers. The work will include major lane and ramp closures starting in the spring. City streets will be affected sooner. The $240 million makeover includes some new exit ramps, new MinPass lanes, and a new rapid speed bus line. So. Good luck mm. to everybody. So many projects going on oh. all at the same time. Kind of makes you wonder if they could have spread these out a little bit. <laughs>